Hello everybody, this is John Evans, and you are watching Mid Mod Money, the show that teaches you how to buy and sell vintage items for a profit. Uh, this is a new web series. I do thrift store haul videos. So hopefully the information that I share in these videos will help you better navigate the world of buying and selling mid-century items from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. So let's get to the haul. Uh, this comes from Peoria, Illinois. I was in Peoria, Illinois a few months ago doing the Jukebox Comedy Club. So shout out to the people at the Jukebox. And this was my first find. This was uh, these two antique cars. One's an ice truck, one's a car. They are done very well. You see these around every now and again. They're not uncommon, but these were in really good shape and done very well. As you can see, they were 50 cents each. I'm going to sell the pair for $10 in my booth at the Antique Mall. Uh, next item, and we're working from, we're working from smallest find to largest find. So we end very big, uh, but this is kind of the beginning leading up to the, uh, the finale. So this is my uh, 1980s desk organizer. Um, you see these around in various colors. This one is kind of a boring color, but it was only 50 cents. So uh, these go, believe it or not, on eBay between 8 and $12, $15, depending. Uh, I'm going to try to get nine for this. And again, it was only 50 cents. So, you know, not a, if this was yellow or orange, this, this would be worth four times that go between 30 and 40 bucks. So keep an eye out for the weird looking, uh, desk stuff. Next item, uh, Goodwill find. This was a half price find this, this, uh, dish tray, it's a tray, uh, with the butterfly on the front, no markings, no signature, I don't know who made this, but it's, it's got a, mi a mid seventies look, anything that's got, uh, vintage and butterflies always sells, this was half price, two ninety nine, so, uh, it was a dollar fifty, I'm gonna sell this, uh, for ten dollars. Next item, also from the Goodwill, but not half price, this cutting board, uh, it's got a great look. This cutting board has good color. It's got red, blue, green, uh, and the dragon on the front makes it really, really odd. And uh, uh, because of the color, it'll sell pretty pretty easily. This was two ninety nine, a little bit more than I'd like. But I sometimes don't view things as a as one item. I look at the uh, the the haul in totality. So this was uh, a nice pickup. Uh, I'll sell it for $12 in my booth at the Antique Mall. Now, it's getting a little more interesting, a little more exciting. This next item is a, yeah, bath clock. da 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 da, -da bath clock. This bath clock uh, was $2.92, as you can see, written in grease pencil. Um, I've seen these before, but uh, it's probably from the late 70s. And it's got a really whimsical look. Anything from the 70s or 60s that has a lot of whimsy will always sell. This was $2.92. I'm going to sell it for $18. And this is where it gets a little bit more interesting. Something that I love, which is art glass from the 1960s. I found this at Goodwill. This was $6.99, half price. So I paid $3.50. For this weird shaped art glass candy dish. Um, when you're looking at art glass, you always want, if you're wondering whether to pay the price, anything in orange, green will always sell. So uh, the more unusual the shape, the better the color uh, will determine whether the item sells. I paid $3.50 for this. I'm going to sell it for $16. These were two of my favorite things that I found on this trip. I was at a junk shop, not quite a thrift store, more of a junk shop, but they did have a section of cool table lamps. And I collect vintage electronics, radios, lamps, clocks. Uh, so when I saw these, I was really excited because I know what they go for. These go for uh, a good amount on eBay 
depending on the color and the style. This one is just like a standard gooseneck. I, uh, this one is actually old. I know they make reproductions of these. This one, as you can see from the old Switch, and it's got some older markings on the back. But I paid 99 cents for the green one. I'm going to get $14 for it uh, on eBay or in my booth. But this is the one I'm very excited about because it has the telescoping feature there. And it's called a telescope lamp, and it also has this cool space age orb at the top. And what makes this one so great is the orb is actually covered in like a velvet or velour. So I've never seen one of these with a uh, fuzzy top, right? And the uh, it's got the fake wood grain, little on off switch. This was $4.99 uh, from this store, and uh, I am going to sell this for $30 or more. And I will get it because these go for, uh, these always sell. I've always sold them. And um, these are two nice uh, lamps. We have three items left. And one of them is a piece of art, not just any art. This is what I would call pop art. I don't, you don't, usually don't find art this good in a thrift store, but this is amazing looking. This piece of pop art, and what I mean by pop art, uh, things that utilize popular culture in the art. So you see Marilyn Monroe right there, Keith Richards right there, naked chick on either side, and flanked by a dog uh, smoking a cigarette. So that's pretty weird, right? And it's got awesome color, and it's just unusual. You just don't see these very often. I almost lost it. This was $3.99 half price. So I paid two bucks for the weird pop art. The artist was called Swag, by the way, and I couldn't find any information on Swag. So if you know who Swag is, let me know because uh, put it in the comments. I have, I'm going to make, you know, I'll sell that for $25. I paid two for it. Two items left. And this is the second to last item, the Rogier clock, R-O-U, or lamp. Why can't I, I get this right? This is a, this is a lamp, not a clock. Um, I didn't buy it thinking it was a clock. This is a lamp. I knew it was a lamp. And I also knew that the company that makes these, uh, made some very, very expensive lamps in the 60s. So if you see a Rogier lamp, uh, from the 1960s, they go for hundreds of dollars, sometimes thousands of dollars. Unfortunately, this was an 80s Rogier lamp. But if you are identifying old lamps, you can always tell by the, if it's got an unusual cord, you know, it's got one of these deals and a weird cord, you know it's older. So I took a chance. I paid $7.99 for this lamp. $7.99. I'm going to ask $49 for it. I might try it on eBay first, but eventually I'll settle it, putting this in my booth at the Antique Mall for $49. Not my style, but uh, someone will think it's a really cool lamp. And we are now at our final item, and this is the, the, the kingpin item of this trip was this. A 1970s J.C. Penny avocado green toaster. This is the Rolls Royce of vintage toasters. This is perfect color. Nothing wrong with it. No loss of paint. The inside looks great. If you were putting together a 70s house and kitchen and you wanted to have something that was period in your kitchen, this is the definitive 70s toaster. Just, I mean, just look, look at that shine. So, um, I paid $6.99 for this. Full price. I removed the tag to take pictures. It's already up on eBay. I'm asking $68 for the 1970s JCPenney toaster. And I'm going to get it. Um, so that's the haul. In totality, let's look at the numbers. I paid $36 for everything you just saw. $36. When you add it all out, when you parcel it out, I will make $260 
off of $36 through eBay, through Facebook Marketplace, through my booth at the Antique Mall. So there you have it. Anyone can do this. If you don't know what to look for, I will show you. You have been watching Mid Mod Money. Don't forget, hit like and subscribe. When I hit 500 subscribers, I will be giving away one item from each haul, and I will send it to you free of charge. So thanks for watching Mid Mod Money. I've been John Evans.